Today I'm standing in front of the Voyager Rearfold. This is a brand new model to MDC, 2017 model. It's part of our 10th year anniversary, you can see that on the side of the trailer. This is an excellent trailer for families, but also for a couple who are wanting to travel around the country. Let's take a look. On the front of the uh, Voyager here, we've got the polyblock hitch. Uh, you do receive the, obviously, receiver for this end as well, which is great. You do have this neat little handle, which is great for moving the camper around. You've also got the handbrake here, which is obviously really, really good when you need to have the camper steady. Jockey wheel, all of your um, drawbar is hoptic galvanised inside and out. You've got your stone guard on the front here, which is great. Obviously, that's going to protect the back of your car. You do get one spare wheel and also your winch to be able to put this one over. On the front here, you've got a really large toolbox, which is great for families. Pop that up. It's all assisted by your gas struts. Obviously, quite a lot of space in here, and you also notice on here the pinch seals as well. You do have a slight lip on here too, so that's going to obviously protect you from dust and water. You do have your nine kilo gas bottle holders on here, which is great. That's going to be plenty for the family. You've also got your gas regulator, and obviously you can pop that straight into your gas bottle. Moving around to the side of the camp trailer, you've got multiple 12 volt sockets, which is great. You've also got your kitchen in here, which is excellent. So obviously pops down, pulls straight out. Also, obviously from the kitchen here, you've got your water and your gas as well. So these are just quick connect in. Everything's already plumbed into the trailer for you. So still moving along, obviously the tyres down here, these are actually 15 inch mud terrains and they're actually done on your steel wheels as well. Great for your off-roading, obviously going to give you a lot of traction. Moving along again, we do have an 85 litre poly water tank on this one. With your actual filler, it is lockable, which is great when you're in the campsites. Moving along again, you've also got your gas strut here, which is obviously going to assist that camper coming down onto the ground, making it nice and easy for your setup. So moving around to the back of the camper here, you will find the sealed LED lights, which are great. And you've also got access just at the back here to underneath the actual bed area, which is quite a large storage area when you've got the camper open. But obviously when you're traveling, you can just basically pop in there, grab what you need, pull it back out again. Now that is also done with all of your pinch seals as well. So all your dust, water, isn't going to be a concern at all. As you can see, coming around to the other side of the camper, the stainless steel latches that we were speaking, spoke about earlier, all around the camper. Popping down into here is all your electricity system. Now, in this particular camper, you do have a 100 amp hour battery, which is great. That's gonna be excellent for you to be able to do your lights, your fridge, whatever you need. Pop over here and we can actually see what you've got in terms of your electric. So the electrics over here, this is your main isolation switch. So this will obviously isolate everything if you need to turn it off. Once you pop it on, you can see that your volts come up and your amps come up. Volts is obviously great. It's going to tell you what your battery is currently sitting at. Um, your amps is obviously going to be what you're actually drawing. So if you've got fridges, you've got lights, that's obviously going to fluctuate. Down the bottom here, you've got all your little switches. So you can obviously pop your lights on, your water pump, your fridge, all of those things you can isolate or you can have them all on at the same time. You do have obviously a breaker here as well, which is nice and easy. You can just switch that. That's going to help you when you're off road and you do have a handy little 12 volt socket down here as well. So back to the front of the camper, on the driver's side, you will actually find this 20 litre jerry can holder. Excellent when you're doing your off-road, obviously you can pop water in here, diesel, uh, fuel, whatever it is that you need to get you that little bit further. Just wanted to talk to you about the top of the camper here. You actually do have a stainless steel rack. Now this is not for you to pop a boat on, but it is really good for you to be able to use it as a tie down if you do have swags or you've got some clothes or whatnot that you do have in those bags. Cargo bags are really good as well. It does have a dual purpose, so when this actually folds over, you do have these handy little feet in here as well, which is obviously going to stabilise the bottom of the actual trailer, keep everything nice and straight and really, really sturdy when you're stepping onto it as well. So right the way around the camper, you will find four stabilising legs. These are great. Obviously, they're going to help you level the actual camper and obviously take a little bit of that weight off too so you're not bouncing around when you're inside. They're really nice and easy. You just pop this out, pop them down, and then with the spindle that you are supplied with the trailer, these will actually pop down onto the ground nice and easy. So I just want to tell you about the winch at the front here, guys. Uh, this is excellent. What it means is you can actually open up the camper and close up the camper with the winch. You don't have to do it manually. You can option to do that if you'd like to. Um, it's not that heavy, but it obviously is easier with the winch. So if you do just have one person doing this, this is a really easy, simple camper that you can do that with, with that winch that's provided. So coming inside this camper, the first thing that you notice is the high ceilings in here. 
huge airflow, it's great. It's really, really good for tall people. Um, but obviously, if you're not so tall, it's also good because you've got such great airflow. You've got windows all the way around here. You've also got heaps and heaps of storage. So if you lift this bed area up, that's such a big area. Plastic boxes, easy. Just pop them in there with all your clothes and everything ready to go. Also notice you've got a battery charger at the back there. Now, we did mention before, you've got a 100 amp hour battery in here. The battery charger, you can just plug that into your 240 and that's gonna charge through into your battery. Nice and easy. You've also got some little 12 volt plugs down here. So you do actually have a cigarette socket and you've also got a USB, so really handy for charging phones, things like that. That's obviously gonna work straight off that battery, which is excellent. Okay, now this bed here, high density foam, really good. Kind of reminds me of my Swag mattress, which I definitely get a good night's sleep on that one. Um, so really nice and comfortable. All your windows have got canvas inside and outside, which is great, because if it does rain, you can just be inside, roll them all up. You don't have to worry about getting out into the rain. You notice all around the camper here, we've actually got the gusseted corners, which basically gives you a lot more structure. Um, but also, I actually find them quite handy to be able to use to push them in, pull them in, all those sort of things as well. One of the great features on this is that you've basically got everything you need inside the camper. The only thing additional that you need here is four poles. The rest of the poles are all part of the camper. They pack up and down with it. Your tropical roof on the top packs up and down with it. So it's really nice, really easy, simple. One night stays, they're just a breeze. One of the great features of this camper is the kitchen. Not only have you got your sink here, which is great, especially with the families and whatnot, you've got your three burner Thetford stove, and now this is actually built for off-road, properly built for off-road. You've got these little screws in here, nothing's gonna rattle around. These will come out if need be, and easily they can go back in. Nice to be able to clean that, so nice and easy. You do have obviously the three burners down here, and you've also got your electric ignite down here as well, so that's just gonna start everything up nice and quick. The best part of this kitchen, I think, especially for young families, is this beautiful bench space down here. You've got so much space, it's quite sturdy. You can do all of your prep work there, ready for the kitchen. You've also, just underneath here, all your cutlery and everything, ready to go, pop it in. It's a really decent sized drawer as well. So with families and whatnot, you can actually fit quite a lot in there. And then down over here, you've actually got all of your quick connect for your gas. You've got electric pump, so electric water obviously through your uh, electric pump. So you've obviously just put that into your cigarette lighter, that's going to give you water into the kitchen. This is a great trailer for families, young families. You've got this huge annex space out here that you can pop the kids in, but also a really neat little camper for a couple who just want to travel around, want something really quick, really easy. Um, they can pop it up in no time or they can spend the time doing the longer setups, have the space. You've got a beautiful kitchen, lots of bench space there. Really nice high ceilings in this as well. So obviously you're gonna have a lot of airflow. It really is a beautiful, beautiful camper. Guys, there really isn't a camper in the market this price point that is better value for you to be able to get out and experience the country, take your family, take whoever you need or just take yourselves. Leave the kids at home if need be. There really isn't anything on the market quite like it at this price point.